Hey guys, greetings from Ukraine. I just wanted to do a quick video for you. I haven't been able to put up much uh, due to certain things going on, but I want you to understand when you see on uh, television, well, I guess not television because nobody covers the war, but YouTube and other platforms where you learn about what's really happening in the war, you typically see uh, apartment buildings that are struck. And I know many people may wonder, well, I, won I, I wonder how many people does that affect? Let me explain this to you. So this is a typical 16 story apartment building, beautiful. And this apartment building will have two entrances, okay? And every entrance, entrance is called a podest or a stoop or an entrance. This particular building has five. You have this door here, which leads to the stairway. And of course it's open now because there's no power. The security system's not working. And if you come this way, come closer. This is where you enter for the elevator. But of course, no systems working, no security, no power. Um, right here is where the, the mail comes. All right, so in this particular building, there are five of these entrances. That is 80 apartments per entrance. The reason I know that is because my very good friend helped build this building. So I'm telling you facts. Every entrance, 80 apartments. And if you turn and look this way, this building is massive. And this is just one. This particular building has five entrances. Five times 80, 400. If we then take into account, uh, let's just go on average. Three per apartment. You're at 1,200 people in one building. One five entrance building. So when you see on updates, YouTube's media, where a missile has struck and destroyed a significant portion of a building, of course, that destabilizes the rest of the building and people have to most often move out, even in other sections. So look how quickly one strike can aff affect 1,000 people, not to mention those that are killed and wounded with every strike. There you go. Little insight from Ukraine today. Thank you.